Today's Q&A, we're going to talk about how to use VBScript to rename multiple files in a folder. All right, we have this all folder, which has all of these pictures downloaded from an iPhone, and they all start with IMG underscore and then the number of the picture. What we're going to do is just rename the IMG with a different suffix. We'll call it SLDA for South Louisiana Driving Academy which is what all these pictures pertain to. So that we'll have all the pictures labeled with the organization they belong to. So what we'll do first of all is start by creating our VB script and creating a text document and we're going to rename this rename files.vbs and that creates our VB script file. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit our VB script file and add the commands to it to make it work. So the first thing we need is the folder where our pictures are located or the files that we want to rename are located. So we'll start off with folder spec equals and we're going to copy and paste the folder path from the window or the address bar here so I'm going to open the all pictures where our pictures are and I will copy the path. Then I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to paste the thing here, the path here. And what I'm going to do is add another folder marker so that I don't have to include that later in my variable name. So I'm going to close that string and then we're going to have another string for what we're going to rename. And what we want to do is rename the IMG with SLDA. So we'll just use that string here. The next thing we're going to do is set up our objects. First we need a file system object. So we'll set FS equal create object and then we're going to set our folder as an object on the file system object and here we're going to use our folder spec string that we created here so I'm going to just copy this paste it here So that sets up our folder as an object and what we're going to do is use a loop and we're going to use a for each loop to go through each of the files in the folder that we just created or the folder object we just created. I'm going to use F1 to refer to each file in the folder in F for folder dot file. So this is going to call up each file individually. So now I'm going to set a variable called file name and this is going to be the file name or the original file name, the file that we want to rename and we're going to need folder spec again to be able to get to the file and we use the method name to create or to get the name of that file and then I'm gonna use new file name and what we're gonna do is use the replace function and we will replace in file name we're going to replace the IMG and it's very important when we're doing the replace that we use the capital IMG because if we use small IMG and that's not how the file is named it will not do the replacement but we're going to replace the capital I capital M capital G with string rename which is what we put up here so to replace it with the SLDA and the reason I'm using a variable here is because if I ever need to do this again and I want to replace the IMG with something different, I just have to change 
um, what I'm calling it in the string here. Now what we're going to do is use the move method on the file system object and we'll use move file and what we're going to do is move the original file which is file name that we have here with new file name and I'm going to take these spaces out and when we're finished with the whole thing I'm going to have it message box done for me so that I know everything is um, finished. So what we'll do is save this file. We'll go ahead and close it. Now before I run it, I'm going to copy my all folder just in case something goes wrong. I have the original files. I won't mess them up. So what I'll do is I'll right click here and copy and paste. And now I have a copy of my original file my original folder with all the pictures in it so in case something goes wrong I just have to recopy those back so then we'll just double click on this done it must be done I go back and look at my files and there I see it replaced the IMG with SLDA on all of those files if we go back to our original the copy we made we see it still has the IMG in the beginning so that's how we can create a simple VBScript file to copy or rename all the files in a folder so that we can better find them or identify what they are.